What's up guys, we're gonna build beats and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make melodies from simple bass lines. If you guys haven't subbed already, I'll turn post news on as you do so. Good does up a lot. Let's hop right into it. So basically what I have is a free pack. I think there's about a hundred in here of just bass lines um, that you can use to kind of start your melodies. Um, and I'll explain why um, this can be helpful later, but pretty much it's just kind of like a practice tool, a learning tool that you can use, or if you're experienced enough, um, something you could just use to kind of spark an idea. Uh, so links will be in the description for that and uh, yes it is free um so let's just go ahead and we can get started with uh the video all right so i went ahead and chose the last one if you want to learn from this the most i would suggest choosing another one and just following the steps um, so let's go ahead and, and match up our scale with that c sharp minor close that so starting from here what we want to do is make complex chords right we don't want to make basic chords so to do that what we need is a bass harmony okay so that would just be the regular chord so all of these will have a regular chord that would be the bass harmony so in order to make a complex chord we need to build from these i guess we can call them pillars right so the first step obviously is just build the chord second step and what i like to do is take the middle notes and pull it up an octave so e4 to e5 probably want to pull this up a bit okay now, the next step is to take this third note within this chord, right? So we pull that up, we take this note and build a chord from it. Okay? All right, so from this chord we just built, what I like to do, and you could you could do any other thing that you wanna do. If you wanna pull this down an octave, you can. If you wanna pull it up, you could do whatever you want. But I like to pull this note and this note from this full chord copy it and pull it up an octave okay and then you should have a nice sounding chord after that right you can push this as far as you want to go all right so that is pretty much the steps you need so over here we could do the same thing as copy it now let's do a little bit different actually let's make a seventh chord like this you don't exactly have to follow those steps let's say we want to pull this up an octave right and then what you can do is if you really want to follow right and now we're getting a little bit high up here right you could do stuff like that okay but i think for this one and where is this we can just copy this and pull this up right just to keep it a lot more simple make sure you can see them okay so let's do one more because this is going to be the longest part of the video because everything else should be pretty easy oh, let's copy this all right and let's say you did want to pull this one up let's say you want to pull that one up right and then you can make a chord from this right all right it all works because you're just using everything that you're using these pillars right and from these pillars when you build your chords they're automatically in harmony as you can see and we already did that one all right so i'm gonna just go ahead and do the rest of these real quick and then we can come back and do the next part okay so i just went ahead and finished these out and i tried not to do anything crazy um because i don't want people to be like oh why didn't you show this part right just try to keep it basic so i'll just play them so those are our chords so now we've got all of this out the way so now we can kind of finish this melody out okay so the last thing is the actual bass line because this is a bass line pack that i'm giving you right um so let's copy this pull it over so you don't really want your bass lines to be exactly just a straight line the whole time right because if you actually listen to bass lines they kind of have like a little melody to them so what we could do is shift d to make these smaller and you kind of play it like a melody, right? And you can go overboard at points, but I would say, if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't suggest, you know, trying to actually do some crazy stuff like that. But you can simply just play the same notes and kind of go down and up. So you could do some, something like this, right? And then we could just adjust the velocities to make it a little bit more realistic. 
coming out the velocity the uh release okay and then take this all right and we could just kind of follow this whole thing right and we want to stay in harmony right so we could use some of the same notes within it probably offset this a bit and keep in mind i haven't even really touched the velocities or anything like that so you could take this further um so that is the base so now we can kind of finish out um with everything else all right so the rest of this should be pretty easy we're just going to add some a few notes just to kind of solidify this melody so we have strings right here um and i'm just trying to Probably turn this up and i'm going to turn it down because i don't feel like having to go in you know automate that so we could put this on the root see what that sounds like okay we can see what that sounds like um in the whole thing if not we could turn it down so let's move on to the guitar all right so this is the guitar i'm going to be using and one thing you can do for your guitar if you want you can kind of pick out something from your chords right um, i know we landed on this d sharp so we could use this we can go up come down something like that so we just copy this and use this as like a starting point so you don't always have to start from scratch Okay, I like that. Um, so now we can use our little bells. So next up we have our little bells. Okay, so we can use that same starter note for the rest of our counters, the D sharp. And back in here. I mean, what you could do is build down into it. Or you could build up into it. I kind of like that one, right? You can do it the opposite way as well. So I'm gonna actually try some. Okay, I like that. So let's move on to our hi hats. All right, so now we need perks or drums. Now, the reason I add this is just to kind of make it sound like there's people actually playing these instruments, right? I mean, what I like to do, which I already did in the beginning, which is put this swing to 20%. You do not need to do this, but it kind of sells the effect a little bit more because it kind of humanizes the timing. Um, so um, what we could do is just kind of find a place where we want to put these. And the grid I like to use is the one third step. So. And then we need to turn this velocity way down and you probably cannot see that at all. And then you want to pull the velocity of these up like this. That's kind of the best way I can show you right now. And we can just pull them down. We adjust it a bit. Okay, and then let's make this last one a little bit louder and I'm gonna just copy this over. Just like that. And let's go to this one. And this one we can make this kind of like straight, 
straight through change the grid and do something like this change those velocities a bit So the last part, we just want to add some vocals just to kind of make it sound a little bit better. All right, so this is the kit I'm using for the vocals. Um, so we just need to change this to our C sharp minor. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of play some, I'm gonna actually use that. Okay, I kind of like that. And then I'm gonna just go through and just pick a little, you know, some that I like and I'm gonna show you after, so. Okay, so this is what I came up with. I kind of wanted to string the both parts together, um, but obviously post this video, I'll probably go in and change things. Um, but this is what it sounds like all the way through with all the sounds. and that is pretty much all we're going to be doing so that is the video hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace